Okay, so here's the worm bin. We're setting it back up again now that it's uh, cooling off. And uh, ordered about, uh, yeah, I think it was a pound of worms. And so we're setting this thing back up, cleaning it up. And let's just see, explain it one more time, I guess. It's uh, Rubbermaid. Uh, it says Roughneck uh, Bin. It's dark blue, which is, uh, you know, keeps it nice and dark, which is what the worms need. And then take off the top here, and I've got some, those are one inch holes drilled in there, air holes, and I have three on that side and one on each end, but nothing on this side. And that's just so, uh, you know, aesthetics, you know, when um, we put it in the laundry room, which is where I keep it, you, know, you don't, it just looks like a tote, you know, and then and there's two, so it just looks like they're stacked on top of each other. And what I did was cut the top out of the lid uh, on the bottom one and the bottom out of this one here and I ran a bead of uh, hot glue around it and you see it cracked you know I've had it for a little while now but uh, and what happens is the worms sit in this top bin and all the uh, the juices and all that stuff let me see here go into this bottom bin here And then that has a vent hole on each side as well. And that's just pantyhose, nylon, um, hot glued in there just to keep the flies uh, from, I don't know, <laughs> if it's from getting out or from getting in. Both, I guess. But, um, so yeah, that just goes on. See, the lid is just glued on. There's the bottom of it. And what I do, put that on. And I take some window screen and I just cut it to fit right inside here. And then I take some Mexican beach pebble stone. And I don't know, any rock will work here. Put it in the corners. And then I'm gonna just throw the worms in there. Shredded newspaper, moisten it up a little bit. And uh, probably, you know, some couple banana peels to start them out with. But uh, let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've uh, finished ripping up some newspapers here for the bedding. And I just went ahead and used this uh, spray bottle here. And about half of it, it looks like. Spraying it in here. And the newspaper is just kind of like that daily or uh, whatever weekly throwaway newspaper. Uh, I don't know. Probably. 50 or 60 uh, pages I shredded up in here. Um, I don't know, about a, 10 inches or so. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put in a few, you know, handfuls of uh, dirt on the top here. A lot of rocks in this bucket here, but, uh, and this will help them with, I guess, the, the grinding up of everything here, speeding it up for us. So composting and uh, not too much but just enough I guess so that's probably enough and then uh, got the worms here and I think it's about a pound or a thousand something like that I'm just gonna throw them in there they're uh, shipped in peat moss and, uh, oh yeah, you know what, I got this thing here with it too, because I've seen some videos where people were kind of uh, complaining, you know, the size of the worms, um, how small they were when they received their package, but this one talks about, uh, your worms have been shipped in dry peat moss, the worms have lost up to 75% of their size due to lack of food and water in transit. If they appear small and scrawny, that is on many occasions normal. So, and it goes on to say, um... You know, it's basically, look at, here we go, within 48 hours of moisture and some type of food product, your worms will be back to 100%. So it's just kind of a shipping thing, apparently. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. And so, yeah, maybe that answers that question then for some people. But, uh, so let's go ahead and take it out and uh, set them on in here. And I like to kind of, I'll mix them up a little bit. 
Oh yeah, man, look at that. Isn't that something out of a scary movie, huh? Woo! Well, they're pretty good size, though, huh? They aren't too small. But, uh, man, oh man, look at that. Woo! <laughs> that feels strange. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few banana peels over the top here and cover them up real quick. And then, uh, I'll get right back to you. Alright, so I just peeled a banana and um, added that over the top like so. And um, these guys are active. They're already crawling on it and a few of them crawled over it. So uh, that's good to see. Um, I sprayed them down a little bit with the uh, with some water here. And then I'm just going to uh, take a little bit more. I can find some without a lot of rocks in it here. A little bit more dirt, just native soil, and uh, some of the bigger rocks out. And then I'm just going to cover that back up with newspaper, you know, probably to this ridge right here, about, I don't know, four inches, three, four inches from the top. And I'll probably keep it like that for, I don't know, the first week. Take a look at this banana peel, see how the, you know, they're eating in there or whatnot, and probably just go. Uh, adding food from the juicer you know pulp and stuff but you gotta be careful with that it, it, it's a lot more than it looks like it's really moist and wet and it will bring the flies quick if you, you overfeed fast using the pulp from the juicer but I'm gonna go ahead and try it and see but uh, let me uh, rip up some newspaper and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done okay so we're uh, in the laundry room here where it's a permanent home for the worm bin as you can tell you know it looks pretty Pretty much at home, just a couple of storage totes in here. And until you uh, pop the lid, and uh, there you go. We filled it uh, almost to the top with some shredded newspaper and just covered up the worms there. And we'll check on them in uh, probably about five days or so and um, add some food from the juicer, like I said, some of the pulp. But uh, yeah, go sparingly on that because you can't have a problem with overfeeding real quick. But as you can see, we got you know large one-inch holes, and um, they're pretty inconspicuous here. And there it is over there. So there you have it. And one other thing too, I was reading on the back of this pamphlet that came with it. It's a pretty cool little uh, FAQ thing on the back, and it says you know can I ever have too many worms? And it says no, that you can't and they'll naturally just lay less eggs as the population becomes too dense so that's kind of a cool thing um, you don't have to worry about that too much but you know of course harvest the worms too and uh, add them to your garden add them to the compost add them to the grass if you have that give them give them to a friend you know something like that but um this is from where did I get it Uncle Jim's worm farm and I think I think I got it through Amazon so and I think it was like twenty twenty three dollars with free shipping. So pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. And uh yeah that's just that part again about uh about two days they uh, they bounce back and they lose a lot of the moisture. In fact there was another one in here too. It says uh yeah my worms seem really small, half dead you know is that a problem and it just talks about how they can lose seventy percent of their body mass just during a three to five day trip, you know, so nothing to be alarmed at, you know, don't be mad at the company, <laughs> those type of videos, but uh, yeah, anyway, there it is, so hopefully in about two months, I'm looking forward to getting, you know, a few pounds of uh, worm castings, so I'll have to do a uh, update here pretty soon, and see what they look like, all right, take care. Oh, you know what? One other thing, too. I was looking at this bag that the worms came in, and uh, it's a pretty cool little uh, satchel or something, I guess you'd call it. But uh, you know what? I was looking at it more and more. I'm like, you know what? Man, that would be awesome for, um, like, compost tea, you know? Just throw uh, two, three handfuls of compost in here, tie it up, cinch it up, put it in your uh, five-gallon bucket with your little uh, fish pump in there, your air pump for your fish tank, aerate it for... Uh, 
a little bit and uh, yeah man so another cool use from this whole worm composting adventure is uh, order from these people here and uh, get a cool little bag for worm for uh, well yeah worm tea as well throw some worm castings in it so save it for that pretty cool man there you go